Here is the hardware we'll be using for these tests. First we have a Qualcomm 2 charger bought on AliExpress. So it's a cheap Chinese charger with one quick charge port. Then we have another uh, cheap Chinese Qualcomm charger. It's Qualcomm 3 this time. And finally we have a reputable Anchor charger. This one has two quick charge 3 ports. It's called PowerPort Speed 5 and I will plug them side by side so I can test the different settings. Now on my breadboard I have an Arduino Nano, not powered for now, connected to VCC above and ground below, as well as two wires connected to D4 and D5. There is a first resistor section that I will skip for now. And there is a second resistor section identical to the QC2 control circuit with on the left a 1K resistor to ground, a 2.2K resistor to VCC, which forms a resistor divider, and also a 680 ohm resistor connecting the orange wire from the Arduino to the green wire. And on the right side, the blue wire from the Arduino is connected to another 2.2K and a 1K is connected to ground. The central point being connected to the white wire. And on the left side, we have a USB cable, which is broken out on the breadboard. So there is the ground wire connected to the common ground, the white and green cables, which are D- and D+. Finally, the yellow wire, which is VBUS, the actual power wire. The white, green and yellow wires are connected to oscilloscope probes. So I'm going to connect the USB to the cheapest charger. And on the scope we have three traces. The yellow one on top is VBUS. Then the light blue one is D- and the purple one is D+. As you can see, this charger is particularly noisy. So let's try with the other chargers. This is with the cheap QC3 charger. It's still noisy, but a bit better. And finally, let's try with the anchor one. And this looks much better. Noise is much more controlled, so I guess you get what you pay for. So this was a quick tour of the setup, now let's go on with the tests.